So yesterday we finally did step eight, which is to complete the financial statements. We did all four financial statements and got them all perfectly good. So now the next step is to close out all temporary accounts. So step nine is to close out the books. Now, what does it mean to close out the temporary accounts? Accounts, I know them, but uh, I don't know what it means to close them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so what, what what are my temporary accounts? The revenues, the income, and the, and the expenses. Good, right? So when we close them out, what we're going to do is we're going to go through each account that's in our ledger, okay? And we're going to close them out, meaning we're going to zero out each and every single account. So then each one is closed out. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that, but yeah, they become zero at the end of the um, day. Now, what account do we zero them out to? Do you remember from lecture? So there's an account that we need to zero them out from. Do you remember what account that is? No, you don't remember what that account is? Okay, it's it's in your notes for chapter. The last, the last, not the last chapter. I think chapter. Chapter thirteen is correct. I don't remember. Shush. Don't know. You're going to zero them out to income summary. Right? Because then the last step we got to do is we got to zero out our income summary to equity, right? Okay? So in this case, right, what was the rule? If I'm going to be zeroing out my revenues, right, how do you how do you zero out your revenues? It's on the other side. If it's credit on the debit, if it's debit on the credit, no? Correct. So in this case... My revenues normally have a credit balance. So in this case, I will be debiting all of my revenues and zeroing them out and I'd be um, crediting my income summary, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that one first. So let's go ahead and... Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and start here, right? So I need your journal and your ledgers because what I'm going to do is I'm going to close them out side by side. Okay, so then I can do this um, a lot quicker instead of going through your journal and then going back to fix them, okay? I'm going to go through each and every single one of them. So if I know that right now, I need to debit all of my revenues, right? And I'm going to credit them all out to my income summary, mm -hmm. okay? So let's go ahead and go through each and every single account. So let me see. That should be enough to close out all of your revenues. So let's see. It is um, 6.30. Okay, so let's see. What's the first revenue I see here? Sales for regular coffee. Sales for regular coffee. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sales regular coffee. Right? Now, what account number is that? It is 40, 50, okay? 40, and 50. Yeah. right now, what is my account balance in my sales for regular coffee? Okay. We can have a credit 1,394 for 96 cents. 96 cents, so 39, 13.94.96. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to come here and we're going to close this account out. Okay. We'd like a uh, debit side and then income uh, summary and the credit side. Yeah, but in this case, I'm just going to close all of them out. So I'm going to list them all out and then just sum them all up into my income summary. That's the e That's usually the easiest. Right? Mm-hmm. And this is general journal number 24. 24. Okay. Mm -hmm. For the 1394.96. 
So therefore, how much should I have in my ending balance? Zero. Okay. So that's how I close out my, re my revenues, right? I zero them out um, and doing it by the opposite amount. So if I have a credit balance in my sales account, I need to debit them to zero them out and close them out. Okay. What's the next account I have? Sales uh, Supreme Profit. Okay. That's fine. Or what do you mean? It is too loud. Or? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. No worries. Okay. Okay. Well, we did regular coffee up here. Mm -hmm. So now the Supreme. Mm -hmm. Now the Supreme. So how much is the total account balance for? 1,436 and 40 cents. Okay, one thousand four hundred thirty-six forty. Okay, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in there into my uh, my ledger as well, since I'm going from uh, journal to ledger, right? But I'm going ledger mm -hmm. to journal to ledger. So in this case, close general journal twenty-four for fourteen thirty-six forty. So then that should bring my account balance to zero. Okay. What's my next account? Um, sales running coffee mess. Mm -hmm. For is not down all the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the account number. Okay. There you go. 1763 and 91. Oh. Yep. 1763.91. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm also going to close this account out. Close. General Journal 24 for 176391. Mm -hmm. Then that should bring my account down to zero. Okay. Okay. What's my next account I have? Sales Medium Regular Coffee. Sales Medium Regular Coffee. Mm -hmm. Account number 40. 4,300. 300 mm -hmm. for the total of? 522176. Okay. 5, 2, 2, 1, 7, 6. Next, we have sales large regular coffee at forty three hundred. Forty three fifty. Okay, for a grand total amount of six thousand four hundred and three and twenty five cents. Sixty-five oh three twenty-five. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to close. And this is for sixty-five oh three twenty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now it's zero. Next one. Sales medium supreme coffee. 
sales, medium, shipping cutter, and this is 450. For a grand total for six six five five seven seven. Okay. Close. General channel twenty four for six six five five seven seven. So that mm -hmm. should bring your account balance to zero. zero. Okay. Next one is going to be sales. Sales large super and coffee. Okay, 4500. No worries. Um, 7524444. Good. 7 Seven five twenty four forty four six thirty close general journal twenty four for seven five two four 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 that becomes zero seven five two four 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 Then what do we have here? Sales returns and allowances. This is, we need to credit this account, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold off real quick because we still have, I think we still have one more debit account before we can put this account in there. Cause this is, has a debit balance, so we will have to credit this account. So we have to skip this one. Same thing with sales discount. However, we have delivery income. So delivery income, how much was delivery income for? $300. Okay, account number. Uh, 48000 Okay, for, five, for $300. $300. Okay, so that's exactly correct. We're going to close this out for $300. No interest income. So let's go back up and complete the, re the last two accounts here. So we now have to credit two accounts. In this case, because we have a sales returns and allowance and a sales discount, which has a normal debit balance. So in this case, how do we close these ones out? We would need to credit them. So in this case, sales returns and Allowance. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, account number 45,000 for a credit amount of 1996. 1996. Okay. Then we need to close this out. So here, 630. Close. General Journal 24. For 1996, bringing my account balance to zero. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last account that we have here is the sales discount. It is 46,000. Credit for. 1979. 79. Okay. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I need to close this out. 1979. Which will bring my account to... Zero. Okay? Mm -hmm.
So I finished all of that. So the last thing I need to do is credit my income summary account. Okay. So if I need to credit and close out all my accounts to the income summary, right, which is account number 3999, how do I solve for how much my total um, credit is going to be for my income summary? So you totalize the debit mm -hmm. and the credit, and the difference between the credit and the debit is going to be the income. Okay. Summary, no? Yep, that's correct. Thirty eight hundred and forty nine minus nineteen twenty seventy five. Have to be twenty eight eight hundred seventy nine and seventy percent. Okay, so let me see both sides. Let me see thirty eight eight hundred and forty nine. Perfect. Okay. All right, good. So that means I need to go ahead and credit my income summary. Okay. okay. All right, and then I'm gonna write in my notes here. Close out all revenues okay. general journal 24 my credit balance is going to be two eight eight seven nine and 74 cents so therefore my running balance in my income summary is two thousand eight hundred seventy nine seventy four okay. and my note here is also going to say the same thing to close out all revenue accounts to income summary. Okay. And I'm going to let you know this now. This is all definitely not going to be enough space to do to close out all the expenses. Because in this case, I'm going to combine cost of goods sold and all the expense accounts into one journal entry. So in this case, this is not enough space. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line here because that's definitely a lot of space for someone to put in a transaction. So now, th now that we finished closing out our revenues, we need to close out our cost of goods sold. So in this, our, uh, our expenses. So in this case, right, we finished our revenue. So now we've got to start with our first expense, which is going to be the cost of goods sold. Now in this case, the rule is, what? how do I close out my expenses? You credit them. In this case, mm -hmm, I'm going to credit all of my expenses and debit my income summary account. Okay. So this is my income summary account. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I have to figure out what my total is for this one, let's go ahead and go through each and every single account here and close them out. So starting with the very first one of my expenses, which is going to be the cost of goods sold coffee. for the regular coffee. Good. So it's and we're going to credit that for 
Okay. And I'm going to close this out here as we are already here, right? Close. General Journal 24, uh, 25. And we're going to credit 1407.68. So that should bring my account balance down to zero. Right? What's my next cost of goods sold account? Supreme Coffee. Mm -hmm. And count number five, 100. Uh, 50, 100. All right, let's see what my total account balance is. 1,489.51. Okay, 1489.51. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 630. Uh, we're closing these accounts out. 25 for 14.89551. So therefore, my account is zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever is zero, I'm copy. Ceramic coffee mugs. Coffee mugs. 50, 180. 1,000. 1,180.84. So 1180.384. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to close this account here. Eleven eighty three eighty four. So that should make my account, oops, equal zero. Mm -hmm. okay. Then we have cost of materials. So we got okay. costs of materials for the medium cups. Okay, for cups. If fifty one two hundred. Two hundred and eighty six and seventy cents. For two eighty six and seventy cents. Oops. Two eight six seventy. Which makes my account zero. Two eighty six seventy. Okay. What about my large cups? It is uh oh. fifty one two hundred and fifty. For three hundred and fifty-one and sixty-three cents. Okay, so three fifty-one sixty-three. Okay, so this is like that. Close. General Journal twenty-five for three fifty-one sixty-three which should give you your account balance to equal zero. zero. Mm -hmm. 351.63. Okay, and then? For sugar. Cost of materials for sugar. It is 51.350. No, 300, sorry. And it is forty three twenty. Okay. 
And then last but not least for cost of materials, we have the creamer. It's one three hundred and fifty. And three hundred fifty nine and twenty six. Three five nine twenty six, okay. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. And I lost my cursor. Close twenty five for three fifty nine twenty six. And that should zero this out. Okay, good. So that was all the cost of goods sold and cost of materials. So now we're going to go ahead and close out all of our operating expenses. So starting from the very top here, what do we have first? Advertising expenses. Oops. Advertising expenses. Okay. Attention. For sixty thousand. It is sixty thousand. For a total of one eighty five. Twenty five. One eighty five credit is going to leave me with a zero balance. Oops. Zero balance. Okay. What's next? Um, bank fee. Bank fees. That it is sixty one hundred. Three sixty nine. Oh wait, sixty one hundred. No. For how much? Three sixty nine sixty four. Okay, so in this case, I have to, I'm supposed to add an extra column here, extra row, okay, for 630 for the closing. For the 369.64. So that makes it zero. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then the next account we have here is business expense. Business expense. Sixty-two hundred. Sixty-two hundred. Or So zero for twelve eighty two seventy eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's. What's next? Freight expense is already zeroed out. Freight so expense. nothing there. Yeah. <clears throat> so we have insurance. Insurance expense. Six eight hundred. For one eighty five and eighty four. One ninety five eighty three. Mm -hmm. Okay, one nine five eight three. Six thirty. We're closing this account. Twenty five for one nine five eight three. Okay, so. Zero balance there. Okay. 
What account is next? Only the expense, nothing they have a subcontractor expense. Okay, subcontractor expense. Sixteen five hundred and ten. Four eighteen ninety. Four eighteen ninety. Yes. What about the next one? The temporary labor expense. Is fifty five hundred and twenty. Two hundred and fifty two dollars. Okay, what's next after that? Licensing, licensing permit expenses. Six six hundred. Six uh, sixty six. Okay. General Journal 25 for $375. So therefore, that should be zeroed. Okay, next one we have here is... Okay, for two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Then let's see what's next. Do we have any office supplies expense? Yes, we do. Okay. Sixty-seven fifty for how much? Seventy dollars. Okay. Let me see. Next is payroll expenses. Nothing there, but we do have salaries and wages expense.
for eight hundred and eighty four dollars. Yeah, it had and now it was eight hundred and eighty four. So Okay, let's see what else is next. Financial expenses. It's the eight hundred and twenty. All right, for four eleven ninety six. What's that? Is it it's commission's expense for four eleven ninety six? Four eleven ninety six. Okay. It's on the phone. You just pay eleven ninety six. So you didn't find. <laughs> you didn't find that. No, I just hear eleven ninety six. Oh, okay. So you know what to do. Okay, no worries. I got you. Okay, and what's next? Um, payroll expenses, payroll tax, sorry, tax expenses, it is uh, 6830 and it's a total of 97.98. Purchase expense. Purchase expense. I think it's zero. It's zeroed out. Good. Purchase returns and allowances is zeroed out. Purchase discounts, we never had any. And what's next? Rent expense. Rent expense. Did we have any travel expenses? No. What about utilities expenses? No. No. Okay. Bad debt expense? Yes. Seventy six sixty. Okay, so I'm going to credit this account for seventy six sixty, which should give you a total of zero. So seventy six sixty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is depreciation expense. Yep. We have. Sixty six thousand. For sixty six thousand. Mm -hmm. For a total of sixty six thousand. 
Amortization. Oops. Mm -hmm. That is sixty-six five hundred. No, sixty-six. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, sixty-six five hundred. Okay. For how much? Mm -hmm. Eleven dollars and sixty cents. All right, and that's the end of our expenses. So Let's go to my equity account because now we need to debit our grand total. So here, I want to make a note here that this is to close out all expenses um, out to income summary. And let's go ahead and make our tally our totals because we have a bunch of this. So in this case, I can go ahead and do the math for you. You don't have to sit there and calculate all of this. I'll do it for you. Don't worry about it. So equal sum. Okay. And I'm going to click and drag all the way up. Okay. So all the way up here. Okay. Enter. So we have a total of $15,350.23. So that's what we're going to put here. Okay. Close out all expenses. Okay. General Journal 25. And we are debiting the account for $15,000. $350.23. So then that means our account balance is $13,529.51. Where do we see this number? Uh, we must be in the which one? It is income state. Income yeah. statement. That's correct. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at income statement. Did we get 13, 13, 5, 2, nine, 9, 5, 1? Yes, mm -hmm. we did. Okay. Good. All right. So there you go. We That means we successfully closed out all of our accounts. Now, there are a few more things that we have to close out here, right? We need to close out this amount to income summary. I mean, to equity, right? Mm -hmm. To basically transfer the money into equity, right? So then we can solve for our um, owner's equity, okay? So we need to close out. How do we close out income summary? Equity. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember, sorry. How, well, take a look at it. How do we close out the income summary account? We have to debit the other side, no? Yep, good. So we have to debit income summary. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is account number 39999. All right, how much is it for right now? It's for 1352951, right? Thirteen five two nine five one. All right, and then we close out to equity. 
What's my owner's equity account? $130,000. That, that's our equity. That's our owner's equity account. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you. Oh, yesterday. Yeah, oh, it was yesterday. Uh, balance sheet and uh, equity account for 40529 That's what we're trying to get right now, right? Ending balance, yeah. That's the ending balance, correct. But right now, I need to add my net profit into my equity. And this is how I'm doing it, right? I closed out all my accounts. So now I'm properly putting in my net profit into my equity. Do you see that? No. Okay. Okay, so in my financial statements, right, I figured out how much my income, yes. my income statement was, right? Now, when I did the statement of equity, right, I transferred my net profit yes. into my equity, right? But on my ledger, it doesn't show me that. No. So that's what I'm doing right now. Right? I solved for my income summary, which which turned out to be exactly what with the same amount as my income statement, right? The oh, thirteen so you have to put it on the other side. Correct. Now we need to actually put it into the ledger. Mm -hmm. So for four thousand Five hundred and twenty-nine. The difference is supposed to be the income summary, right? The same amount, no? Where did you get four thousand dollars? No, it is forty thousand five hundred and twenty-nine fifty-one. That's what. Uh, I want you to take that number, uh, take that number, yes. and ignore it. Exactly. Ignore that number for now, because I'm not looking at that number now. I'm looking at something else. Now, let's take a look. I solved for my net profit, right? My net profit was 13529.51, uh, right? Mm -hmm. Now, how do I take this amount and transfer it into my equity? How do I increase my equity? You have to close your, your equity account, no? We're not closing out the equity account. We're closing out to equity. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know if I cannot see that. Okay. The ending balance. Right okay. now, no, d ignore the ending balance in your ending equity. Balance. Okay. Right okay. now, we have beginning balance 30,000, right? How do I add mm -hmm. to this? Yes. How do I add to my equity? You have to, you have to close this. I mean, you have to put it. Uh, okay, if you write the thirty thousand dollars on the. I don't know. Okay, try again. Okay, income summary. Look at my income summary. Mm -hmm. After I closed out my revenues and I closed out my expenses, what do I have? You have a. Uh, Thirteen five hundred twenty nine fifty one. Okay, so now we need to close out income summary to equity. Okay. So income summary again on the credit side. Not the credit side. How do you how, so the qu the question was how did uh, how do you close out an account? If it's on the credit, if the balance is on the credit, you put it on the debt. The debit. So okay. Zero your account. Good. Okay. So now I'm income summary right now, right? Yes. Do I need to debit or credit this account? I need to this account to be zero. You need to debit it. Okay. You need to debit it for thirteen thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars and fifty one cents, right? We did it that yes. It is on the debit. You put it fifty thousand to thirty thousand five hundred and twenty nine fifty one. I did it on my journal, so I'm gonna do it into my ledger right now, so you can see it. Okay. Oh. Yes. So I have to debit fifty 
13-52951, right? Mm -hmm. So then now this account becomes zero, okay? okay? Now, because this is my net profit, right? I'm gonna mm -hmm. reinvest it into my equity. Yes. So I need to credit my equity account. Credit. For the 13. 30, mm hmm. So I'm going to credit for 135291. Mm hmm. Right? Yes, I understand. I just was, uh, wasn't understanding what you want to do on the. I was looking on the, lead, on, on the journal that you originally back to the amount of $40,000 because. The forty thousand. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not talking about the forty thousand dollars right now because I'm going to show you what you do at the very, very end to get to the forty thousand dollars. Okay. So right now, I'm just closing out my accounts. Go ahead. Yes. The owner equity you credit for Yes, because we once you get your income summary right. Once you close out all your revenues and you close out all of your expenses, the next step is you're going to close out your income summary to equity. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm closing out my income summary to my equity. Right? Okay. I zeroed out my income summary for 13529 And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say close... Close income summary. Okay? So now I'm going to credit because I'm, this is my net profit, right? I'm adding it to my equity. Okay? I'm adding $13,529.51 to my equity. Mm -hmm. So then now I have a grand total in my equity to be $43,529.51. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. Right? I'm going to make a note here um, to close income summary to equity. Okay? Mm -hmm. So then now I have one more step I have to do. Because I have to close out everything in my equity accounts. So, mm -hmm. what do I have left in my equity accounts? I exactly. I have an owner's withdrawal. So, how do I close out my owner's withdrawal? You have to credit the owner. Okay. I have to credit owner's withdraw right mm -hmm. well this is thirty two thousand dollars how much do i need to take out three thousand dollars three thousand dollars where am i taking this out from from your income summary or from not income summary so from the equity. From the equity because the equity, the equity. because always remember equity. it's always equity because in this case, right? The if the owner invested money into the company, he can take the money out whenever he wants, right? So in this case we have to take it out directly from owner's equity. Okay. okay. For three thousand dollars. Okay, and I'm gonna make a note here that I'm going to cl to close out owner's withdrawal. Okay? Mm -hmm. So now that I'm closing out my owner's withdrawal, right, I am going to journalize it just exactly like I said, right? I'm going to close this account out for $3,000. So then I get an account balance of zero in my owner's withdrawal. Okay. Now I need to place that into my owner's equity, right? Mm -hmm. So that means I'm going to close owner's income for $3,000. So 
So now you have the same amount. So now you have how much? 40,549.52. And this number here is supposed to match your statement of owner's equity. Mm -hmm. So that's where, so right there you go, right? That's the that reason is. why we have the financial statements is because at the end of the day, that's exactly what we're doing. We're going to transfer all the amounts so then once we get to the final answer for your financial statements, right? Mm -hmm. you, the income mm -hmm. summary is basically the income statement, right? You took all your revenues and you subtracted out all of your expenses to get your income summary, right? Then mm -hmm. you either reinvest the money into your owner's equity. Don't forget by taking out things that affect equity, right? So an owner's withdrawal affects equity. So therefore, at the end of the day, my total amount of owner's equity that I have as of June 30th has now increased to $40,529.51. And that's what we solved in our owner's equity. Okay? So now we are done with this section with step number nine because we processed, we closed out all of our revenues, all of our um, expenses, and we closed out all of our um, equity accounts. Okay. So last thing I have here, right? So um, I'm going to go ahead and put a bar here because I am done, right? I am done with this journal. I don't need to do it anymore. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and make a note here that um, this is end uh, now we got to do end of month and do a post closing yes. post closing trial balance okay so again our equity matches right our uh, revenues and exp expenses our income summary matches okay yes. so we're done with the journal we're done with the ledger so all we have to now do is the post-closing trial balance. Now, in this case, this is my shortcut to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the post-closing trial balance. All right. I'm going to delete it. Okay. I think I renewed it. Yeah. I'm going to delete it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make a copy of the balance sheet. Because essentially, the balance sheet is going to be exactly identical to your post-closing trial balance. So move and make a copy. So I'm going to put it right here. And we're going to make a copy. Click OK. I'm going to rename my balance sheet to post-closing trial balance, okay? And I'm just gonna do a little reformatting here, okay? Okay, so in this case, this is going, this column's going to be your total debits. And this column's gonna be your total credits, right? And let's mm -hmm. take a look because we don't have any any accounts under revenues anymore, right? So that means this right. account balance right here, okay, so I'm going to remove that, should equal all of these down here, right? Equal sum. Okay, I got 79,110.99, and if I were to erase this, right, and let me see, I need to get rid of my total um, credits here, so delete, and my total liabilities here, so this one and all the way up to here, I need to delete all of those, okay, 
Um, so, oh, what? I, okay, delete this one too. Okay, so then I should have my total, my total equity, right? Owner's equity, you can change this to owner's equity. And format that so it looks like a trial balance. And I guess I can, I can empty, I can clear this one out too. Okay, and then same thing here. We're going to equal sum this. So it should be 79, 110, 99, and that's it. And that's how you do your post-closing trials because it should be more or less the same exact thing as your balance sheet, except you, know, you have to just reformat it. And that is it. That mm -hmm. is it. Any questions in regards to anything that we learned here today with the whole entire coffee cafe. I cannot see the difference between the balance sheet and the and the close the post closing trial balance. Nothing, no. The number is not the same, but the formatting same. is the same because look, formatting right. This is what the balance sheet looks like. Okay, let me. Uh -huh. Right, because the balance sheet tests the accounting equation, right? You need to have your total assets equals your liabilities plus your equity, right? Yes. That's the how you format the balance sheet. But mm -hmm. the post-closing trial balance, you're testing if your total debits equal your total credits. So the only difference is the, the paper what you, where you do that, where you did that, the page that you did. Uh, that's all because the balance is the same. Mm-hmm. You didn't add absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. I just, I just, I just delete and reformat it and rename. That's it. Oh, that's all. You yep, that's it. Mm -hmm. It should be the same. same. There, yes, same. they should be the same. Mm -hmm. So that's why the financial statements start making sense now, right? Mm -hmm. Your your income statement should be whatever your income summary is. Your owner's equity statement of owner's equity should be what you should have your equity balance at the end of closing all your accounts. Your balance sheet becomes your post-closing trial balance. Okay. All right. Okay, that's all. That's it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's nothing left. Okay, so again, 